okay, it's honestly as though they thought, hey, you know what's missing in Godzilla? Michael Bay. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Godzilla King of the Monsters, and uh, I'm a little torn on this one. I was not exactly the biggest fan of the Godzilla film that was released in 2014. I liked how they did kind of embellish and work with the idea of the mystery of the creature. How they shot it was cool to a point, and they had some interesting character dynamic until they killed it in the first 30 minutes. The film constantly honey-dicked you. I called this movie either God or Blue Ball Zilla because that's all this movie did. It either bored you or it blue balled you. Yeah, sure, the fight at the end is cool because you've been waiting for something to happen and for something to care about for the last two and a half hours. You killed Brian Cranston, you gave us Sergeant Cardboard, who does everything. Now, admittedly, this film has almost the same problems, but in different ways. There is a new guy in this, and this guy is my daughter kind of guy, and he does everything. You know, like, it's like one of the biggest complaints that was about the first movie was Aaron Taylor Johnson doing everything, so they're like, you know what? We'll double down on it, except this guy's got a daughter this time who is 11 from stranger things and until like literally the last 10 minutes she's almost useless in this whole movie it's the wife vera franco i can't say her last name i'm so bad at that but she is the one point that i thought was going to be really interesting in this movie and it's very very flimsy a lot of the narrative aspect with the humans is very flimsy now i know that we're watching a monster movie. We should be caring more so about the monsters. And the monster fights, for the most part, are pretty good. But when you constantly keep on cutting back to these characters who you don't give a shit about because they're so poorly made, it was like the other biggest complaint about the Godzilla movie. If you're gonna make a Godzilla movie, focus on the monster. And if you're gonna focus on humans, focus on some that are actually interesting. Instead of boring cardboard one-tone replacements. In this one, they're just high-energy cardboard one-tone replacements. Yeah, the human aspect of this movie is not exactly the greatest. And the whole monarch idea, it, they went from being a secret organization to having more military assets money, power, and whatnot than the fucking U.S. military. They just so casually have all these uh, outposts all around the globe. Where's your money coming from? But again, this is about monsters fighting. And how does that work? Not too bad, to be honest. But, and this is really funny, Godzilla's arc is almost like that of Superman in Batman v Superman. Oh god, it hurts so much to say that out loud, but it's so goddamn true. Everything from when the Doomsday fight happened. That's Godzilla's arc. Almost. Not entirely. Not entirely, but goddamn it follows like almost the exact same path. So I keep dancing around it though. The monster fights, the monster fights. They're actually pretty cool when they're shot in focus. I don't know why, but it looked really either pixelated or it was out of focus, and I don't know how that's possible because I saw it in the IMAX. And it should have looked good, and sometimes it did. Beautiful imagery. That was something that was really well established in all the trailers. By the way, I was supposed to do a video about it, but the trailers for this movie were all fucking great. Fantastic editing team. The fights in this movie are cool when they work. There's a lot of really interesting ones, particularly the first time that Godzilla fights King Ghidorah was actually really cool and then stuff happened. The totality of these monsters fighting each other was really cool. There was a few little nods almost to how the fighting is in Pacific Rim, I thought. And then the film goes full on Japanese, just like the recent uh, Netflix series that they did. And it just goes way off the deep end, just goes full on crazy. This film is an enjoyable mess to watch. The human characters are annoying. They're just as useless as they are before, but now they're annoying. The monster action is much more apparent, but it doesn't have that weight of totality like it did in the first film. It is admittedly more interesting than the first film, but I just feel like it's almost like Pacific Rim 2. Not as horrible as that movie, but it's like Pacific Rim 2. So this film has a combination of good and bad things, both from the Godzilla film as well as the King Kong movie, the Skull Island film, which Right now, I feel that Skull Island is the better one of the three. This film is like trying to be both of those two movies at the same time, and it doesn't work. It, it, 
It works in some senses as an entertainment product, but in the sense of a story, I have no idea what they're gonna do after this because he just goes full bananas crazy with this movie. I don't know how on earth just two monsters fighting each other is gonna, because there's all these titan things that appear. And anyways guys, I'm gonna give Godzilla the King of Monsters a three out of seven. It is an enjoyable movie, it's a stupid movie, but it's a fun time. The IMAX experience wasn't as good as I was hoping. It was very loud, which was very nice. But aside from that, it's it's a little bit of a letdown considering just how well made those trailers were. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. If you like this video, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Give me your thoughts on what you think of this film. What do you guys think about the next one, the Godzilla vs. King Kong, which is directed by Adam Wingard? I don't really have high expectations for this movie now because all the, the past three movies now have been kind of meh or okay so i'm not expecting anything more than that from this finale so i'm interested in what you guys have to say about that anyways guys that's all for me see you guys next time thanks for watching the video it's been a while but i'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie thanks to a successful kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support you know nits you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors yeah guy unless of course those favors involve the ladies guy <laughs> by support i mean getting the word out guys Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck... We'll see you guys soon.